This is Richard Gunther with the Digital Media Zone. We have a walkthrough of Seton's new Q Entertainment Platform User Interface. At first glance, this looks a lot like Windows Media Center. But if you dig a little deeper, you see immediately that this is much more than Media Center. This is, in fact, a custom user interface that's been designed by Seton for their set-top box that's based on Windows Embedded Standard. The set-top box includes all of the features that you're used to seeing on a Windows Media Center, plus much, much more. Here you can see some of the basic capabilities that you would normally have on a Windows Media Center PC. You have your normal scheduled recordings, you have your normal recorded TV, you have the ability to go through the interface and select any of these capabilities like you normally would on a Windows Media Center. But think of this as a set-top box, not as a PC. This is a self-contained unit that includes all of this capability for you, including things like your movie library. So just like you might have a library on Windows Media Center, also you can have that library available to you through this device. One of the other things that Seton is demonstrating right now is a Windows Media Center extender called Echo. The experience on the Echo device is very similar. Here we see the menu on the Echo, again very much like a Windows Media Center extender experience except that it's customized. It has a skin that's been applied by the user and you have all of the menu options that you might expect to see on a Windows Media Center extender, including access to your entire recorded TV library. And just like on any Media Center extender, you can view the guide remotely. Pay note to how snappy this is. One of the things that really hurt extenders in their first generation was that they just weren't responsive, they were slow. This definitely fixes that problem. Seton is going to be releasing a series of companion apps on three major platforms, the Windows Mobile, Android, and iOS platforms. And these are going to be tailored to those environments and give you capabilities similar to what you might have on the set-top box or extender itself. In this example, we have a Windows tablet running a Metro application that shows the entire content of the movie library. You have the ability to browse it. You have the ability to get movie details. You can quickly and easily go to any section in that library just by tapping on one of the letters, for example. You'd have the ability to get information and manage your library remotely. Similarly, you can do that from a telephone. In this example, we have a Windows phone running a Metro app that lets you do things like, let's say, manage your series. Here you're going to change the priority of the series that you have scheduled to record. Here you're seeing the individual programs that are scheduled to record over time, all from your phone, whether you're inside or outside your firewall. You'll also be able to look for television content by browsing through the television gallery. And you don't have to worry about the source of the content. The latest shows could be on TV. They could be in a subscription service. It doesn't matter. They're all available to you to select. Your recorded television is shown like a series of threaded discussions. You can expand each series to get information about all of the latest episodes that have been recorded, and if any of them are new. Now let's say you select an individual show. When you do that, you have the ability to get information about the show, or see all the episodes that are available. Once you've done that, you can get further information about each individual episode. One of the things that ties all the services together on the Q platform is the universal search. You'll have the ability to find content without worrying about where it is. In this example, they search on ST, and the Q companion brings back all the results, including content that's on the hard drive, content that's available through services 
Notice it even brings up networks that have ST in them. If we select one of the networks, then the queue companion is going to go back to the queue device and pull all of the programs that are going to appear on that network so that you can then view, schedule, or get additional information about them. We can then interact with those programs, even selecting one specifically to record. If you select an individual program, you'll be able to see the detailed data about it. We can even watch the trailer. This has been a first look at Seton's Q Entertainment Platform at CES 2012.